Shall I send the laundry up to the room? I'd appreciate it, and some ice, too. Have a good evening, Dr. Holden. Mrs. Holden, nice to see you again. You as well, Thomas. That is a fetching color. Uh, your scarf, I mean. Do you call it? Uh, celadon. You can call it green. Well, green suits you, Mrs. Holden. Enjoy your evening. And then he'd say some like, really wise ass shit. And we go through this ritual like once a week for like ever. And he wanna know me. That's pussy shit though, right? I feel like I'm supposed to do something. No. He was, he was right there. Can you tell me please why I don't need one again? So, I'm gonna be learning which of these jury members I have a potential relationship with, and lately, that's been running at about 27%. Oh, who? That is not a good percentage for you guys, is it? Nope. Dang. Thank you. He recognizes when I need it. Are you suggesting you would fail to disclose a previous relationship with a juror because that would be illegal? Is that illegal? Definitely very illegal. Well, you know, I'm not going to pretend to understand all the nuances of the law. That's technically your job, Eddie. Oh, but what I do know is that you don't want to put Geraldine Barber in front of a Jackson Heights jury. Mm. Oh, you know it too. It was horrible, actually. Tell me about it. There's not much to tell. Are you sleeping? No. Are you taking the ambient? Yeah. Yeah. Taking the ambient, but it doesn't do anything. Right? I'm just, I'm really sick of sleeping alone. I know this is very difficult for you, but you have to understand that it does get easier in the process. Yeah. I know you said there were five steps of grief, but I can't get past the second fucking step. My heart physically hurts all the time, and it's not in some fucking abstract way. It, it, it's actually painful.